Hello there, traveller. Welcome to Quincy's Tavern. I look different. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I might have gotten some new ink. The tavern itself has had some upgrades and lights changed and... You like the old version better. It's completely understandable. A valid opinion if there ever was one. <laughs> but I do suppose that if we're comparing the present to the past, we always do so when... We think of the fond memories and the good feelings, you know? We've had had many. But I do think that we are always evolving and changing, naturally, you know? I feel like being stagnant in anything, whether it's relationships, goals, or even life itself, won't take you where you want to go. I do concede that some changes might not be the best things, and that sometimes we make decisions that we wouldn't have made uh, if we knew the outcome, hindsight and all that. But I still think that being willing for, to take a chance on change is a powerful and courageous thing. There's a phrase that says, um, The longer you live in the past, the less of the future you have to enjoy. Now, I don't want to downplay your appreciation to the old version of the tavern, or even if it was an old version of me that you were referring to, as some other patrons may have stated. <laughs> but, again... I think with all of us that we are always naturally evolving and changing. Just because life does that itself, irregardless, will it will with with or without us. And sometimes all the the only thing that we can do is try to keep up, do our best, and take the decisions that come one at a time and make them to the best of our kind abilities. But anyway, how about a drink? I have some of the older mugs in the back if that helps. <laughs> Right away. Hello there, traveler. Welcome to the Lucky Griffin Tavern. My name is Quincy. A little busy today, but what can I get for you? Coffee. You got it. Here's your Wyvern Masubi and refill. Three health potions. And what did you say you were going to go fight again? One unending spool of thread. Good luck in the maze. Hello, Doctor. What can I do for you? Again? Yeah, we'll fix it. Put the chair down! The loot of a thousand worlds. Got it. You know I'm empty. Oh, coffee. Right. On its way. So I need you to hide these three keys. I don't care when, so just hide them. We'll need refills in the back. You'll have to forgive Quincy. When things get busy around here, well, he forgets the simple orders. All right, who put a ghost downstairs? <laughs> Me? Oh, I'm Minthy. I'm not usually up front here. I'm not uh, a social moth, if you will. I'm usually in the back, I keep things organized, especially because we know Quincy tends to lose a thing or two and, well, the goblins. But I like to spend most of my time up in my library with Corbin. And one coffee. You're getting slow, old man, I got it for you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, who needs coffee? Yeah, I might be here around every now and then, but even if you don't see me, just know that I'm somewhere. Enjoy. You know a word that we could suffer to use a bit more in life? It's the word no. Especially after we've said yes. It's okay to change your mind. If you're anything like me, then you know that it's hard to turn down adventures filled with wonderful opportunities and endless potential. But then if you're also like me, then you realize that after five or six yeses in succession, that <laughs> the taxer known as time comes to collect. And she always comes to collect. And suddenly your days, hours, and minutes are whisked away Fulfilling the commitments you've established yourself to. Now, I know the word no can seem like a negative and even a hurtful term, especially when you've been on the receiving end of it. But in reality, it's a shield, a boundary, a line in the sand that says that you just aren't able to fulfill the expectation required of you right now. And that's okay. You're putting yourself first. And I know that's a bit hard for you sometimes. 
But saying no can be just, if not even more so valuable than saying yes to everything. It can save you a lot of time, grief, and unnecessary heartache. But it's a balance as with everything. I just hope that when the taxer of time comes to collect, that you have a bit more for yourself, because you put yourself first a bit more. Be safe out there. Hello there, traveler. We're just about to close down for the evening, but with you still here, how about one more drink? Something on your mind? Everything, nothing, all at the same time? I get that. It's the funny thing about thoughts, is that they tend to have a mind of their own, don't they? And if left alone long enough, a thought becomes a wandering one, and a wandering thought can become an intrusive one. And we've all been there where all it takes sometimes is just one to completely change our day. Hmm? Now, it's true that we don't always get to control our thoughts, but we do have a choice on how we respond and the actions we take after the fact against those trespassing murmurs of the mind that tell us we're not good enough, our inadequacies, our uh, comparing ourselves and guilting us. If I may suggest, a good course of action to take against such things is to, as they say, do and be. Doing things you enjoy and being present in the moment. Because here's the fact, here's the secret. That, that intrusive thoughts only have control over you when they can pull you from the present to make you think of something in the future or the past. That's where they have the power over you. But by choosing to be present in the moment and surrounding yourself with wonderful blessings, you can fill your mind with memories and experiences that can help drown out those negative ones. Now, is this a foolproof plan? Unfortunately not. There will always be those voices that want to try to get their word in edgewise. But, it is possible that by choosing to be present, doing and being, is that it can prevent your mind from wandering to the past, thinking of griefs you can't change, or into the future, thinking about anxieties that may never occur. Just a thought. Be safe out there. Hello there, traveler. Riddle me this. I am desired by kings and peasants alike, but you so carelessly by all. I am measured, managed, wasted, always moving, never stalled. I grow forests, tear down mountains, I move stars across the sky. I exist throughout all the vast of space. I am present. I can fly. I care not for your status, your achievements, or your dreams. I am finite to all living things, but forever includes me. Where I'm going is tomorrow, where I've been is history. I'm a concept grasped by simple minds, but to science a mystery. I am measured by the moments, I am counted by bits of falling sand. I promise to never promise more than what is presently in your hands. I am time, the riddle solves itself. I'm impartial, I'm unfair. I am divvied out in unknown lots to each person's total share. Now the true riddle, my dear traveller, isn't how to cheat more time, but on how to use your precious lot of moments to its prime. For those who only chase tomorrow will find it cold and grey, but those who make the present count live lifetimes every day. So not exactly a riddle, more of a reflective thought I share. I hope you find it interesting, and as always, save it. Dear future me, I feel like we do this sooner and sooner each year, <laughs> but it's also probably because this past year was so incredibly overflowing. Just to name a few things, we, I mean, we moved across country alone, packed it all up in our little Ford Fiesta, dropped into Arizona for a while, and honestly, it was probably one of the best things we've ever done. We found new family, built a new tavern set up, started a podcast with our best friend, and we haven't stopped since. <laughs> 365 days of just non-stop, but I think through it all, overall, I think we're doing alright. Keep those people around you that keep you grounded, that's good for you. We've had unbelievable victories this year, a successful Kickstarter campaign, a 
podcast collaborations with Disney and other pretty big companies. We did Convergence. That was a thing. <laughs> Just so much. But always, always remember where you came from. What brought you here and who it's all for. It's all about leaving your world a little brighter than you found it. And hopefully the people you meet along the way as well. I hope this next year is full of victories and triumphs for you. But I hope that you also have the courage to try new things. Go to new places. Make memories. Especially with those that you care about. Because we both know that time is both unfair and fleeting. Make forever last in the moments that you have. By the way, happy birthday, Stevie.